I gotta find a better way to start these videos. What is going on, man? You know what we're doing. Damascus is really draining my brain. Now, I believe I have all of my snipers are gold. So I have platinum on snipers now. Fine, whatever, finito. I believe pistols are also platinum. So that's two out of the three. I feel like I should make a fucking spreadsheet because there's just so much work to do here. Uh, I'm currently working on assault rifles. So my Ram 7 is gold. My AK-47 is gold. I think. Okay, yeah. My AK-47 is gold. SCAR is gold. M13 is gold, I think? Yeah. Okay. I'm currently... Oh, the M4 is also gold. And the Kilo, I'm currently working on it. So, yeah. That's what we're gonna try to do, I guess. We're just gonna try to get the Kilo gold. And really, it's, it's easy. We just need to get about 35 more long shots. And we also need to get the Odin gold. Both super close to being gold. They finally brought back Hardcore Shoot the Ship after a week of Cheshire Park and Shoot House. And oh my god, man. The spawns in Cheshire are absolutely terrible. You just spawn inside of the house. You guys know what house I'm talking about. If you've played Cheshire Park, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You just spawn back to back to back to back inside of one house. And then all the enemies do is they sit inside of the building. You know what building I'm talking about. <laughs> they sit on the second floor and they just go for long shots and like kudos to them that's the whole goal you know that's why we're here that's why we're playing this is to get those long shots in but jesus christ man the entire game and they don't flip the spawns ever ever so it's just death 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 so since we got domination we're just gonna work on this like i think we have to work on crouch 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 kills i think Okay. I've increased my sensitivity recently from, it was at 11. I keep hearing people say that they play on 2020 and I just don't know how that's possible. Because 1313 is already like a lot. And I very much know how it's possible. I used to play on uh, the max sensitivity in Black Ops 2, I believe. I, w I used to try to go for a... Shit, sorry, dude. I used to always go for trick shots in like Mono Warfare 3, Mono Warfare 2. Good job. Get ready for the next battle. I have been holding up though. I feel like this challenge, man, I put it off so long ago because it. What the fuck was that for? I put this challenge off so long because I was just so sick and tired of like. I, I just didn't feel like experiencing the 800 kill thing. I believe for like every AR, one of the main challenges is 800 kills. And once I saw that, I was just like, no. I sort of like quit the whole dream of Damascus at that point. But since Shoot the Ship and Shipment in general is just like a super regular map now, I feel like why not go for it? Especially since like the current state of this game, it's not super dull for me. Like, I feel like a lot of people absolutely despise it. I think it has its problems, but I'm not at the point where I just feel like this is like the worst experience ever. I still feel like that belongs to Infinite Warfare, my least favorite Call of Duty. I don't think that'll ever change. Unless they just really screw the fucking pooch next year with uh, Black Ops, uh, what's it called? Black Ops Cold War? I feel like, I feel like we have a good foundation on our hands right now for like the best cod ever with modern warfare we just need treyarch to come through and like <clears throat> give it its little full cajun spices you know give it a little pizzazz Bruh. oh god what a slut Uh, okay, okay, relax. They're just spawning us in front of this man now. They're still there. Jesus Christ. I think I need hip fire kills. If I'm not mistaken, that's like one of the challenges I need to get done. It's so hard to do that with everyone just hiding and going for uh, Damascus challenges. Dude, I only have 38 kills. I think I need to step it up, honestly. Hey, look at that. <laughs> I knew I would get the most kills. Shoe house is good. Let's try to get these uh, kilos out of the way. I don't think I'm going to get all the kilos in one game. 
But like if I can at least get like 25 long shots, that'd be great. Uh, nobody's gonna be coming down the middle. He might come back for revenge up there, but I doubt it. Hey, we got one. We have like 34 more. 33. Alright, I'm not playing that. One of my biggest problems with these challenges, and the main reason why I'm even doing this in hardcore, is because when I'm in core, there's just too many snipers. I get way too competitive if I see anybody else quick scoping. So the moment I see another sniper on shipment or shoot house, I just completely abandon whatever I'm there for and just pull out a sniper and I start wrecking. It's 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 truly a problem. I, I should work on it. Why are they spawning us in front of enemies? In front. In the eyesight of enemies. So the sprints of fire speed on the bison seems to be like quite amazing actually. Oh they're fucking spawning us in front of enemies, son. Like who is that helping other than the enemy? Like I just I have no idea where the enemies could possibly be at when I'm constantly spawning in front of them. All of my fucking teammates went like double negative. Like Jesus Christ, man. I just don't think I'm gonna be able to get this done in like a reasonable time, man. It's so fucking annoying. And then like no one fucking is camping and shoot house for some reason. <sighs> no one wants to fucking get headshots except for the guy on my team who just stands next to me like a fucking idiot the entire time. Oh <sighs> fuck me. Yeah, thanks for the fucking headshot, guy. Just, there's not gonna be a fucking yeah okay just spawn me right the fuck spawn me in the exact same spot twice three times is this real bro they literally just spawned me in the exact same location three times in a row you're telling me you're telling me joe seacott I couldn't spawn here. You're telling me, Joe Seacott, I couldn't spawn here. I couldn't spawn, I couldn't spawn over here. You're telling me I couldn't spawn there. That's what you're telling me, Joe Seacott. Like, Joe. Joe, we have to do better, my man. Like, Joe. Joe, if there are enemies, Right the fuck over there. And there's an enemy right there that just killed me. Why would you spawn me here, Joe? Just why? Joe, I just I just want to know, is there literally nowhere else on the fucking map that I could have been spawned? There's nowhere else on this entire fucking map. No, you give Big Sack Jack the opportunity to kill the entire team three fucking times. Bruh, they spawned me in the exact same location three times in a row if you don't know who the fuck joe seacott is lucky you first off secondly joe seacott is the fucking spokesperson for infinity ward right now he's the guy that everyone goes to on twitter when they have a problem joe this is what's wrong joe fix this joe 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 fucking joe minus the fucking maga fuck that shit but I'm not gonna say it's easy. I'm not gonna say it's easy because that's fucked up and it discredits the work that the devs put in, right? I know that developing a game is difficult. I get that. But there's no reason for what just happened to happen. I have never played a game in my life where something like that has happened. Now remember, Josie Cat, I've been playing video games since I was a wee lad. No, I'm not saying wee lad. I'm saying wee lad. Why, like, Joe, Joe, look what's happening, my man. D this is the only area we could spawn in, apparently. There's literally enemies outside of it. Look, I just died, Joe. I just fucking died. Oh, I died again? Oh, spawn me right here again, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Look, I I'm not gonna be mean with Joe. That's not right, all right? Joe is not the main death, but it's just...
I was gonna get gold for whatever the fuck this gun is called, the Kilo, I think. I don't fucking know, but the Joe Seacock decided to ram his Joe Seacock up my ass for however many minutes long this video is. It was cute at first, Joe. I was really feeling it. Just not feeling it anymore, man.